another one small idea can grow to be great stretch 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 your imagination anything can happen when you start to create boom boom stop by the scribble shop boom boom stop by the scribble shop believe in an idea and see where it can take you allow your mind to dream and follow where it goes let's create together inside the scribble shop there's an art You showed up. I need you guys. There's something strange about this place today, and I just can't figure out what it is. Do you see anything different? You know, sometimes this building seems a little bit eerie to me. There's an old legend that a paint splatter came to life, and he lives here in the shop somewhere. But I don't believe that. Do you? My little friends, I am alive. Look at the trunk. I live in the trunk. Come inside. Oh, good day, my little artist friends. I have been very busy this morning. I trust you saw my little green marks on the wall? Well, there are more. <laughs> Imagine that. You and I will play a little game today without Miss Creativity knowing. Count my green marks in the shop during the show. We'll see if you can find them all. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. A customer! Guess we'll just have to figure this out later. Scribble Shop, this is Becky speaking. How can I help you? I found the scribble and I can't tell what it is. Can you help me? Uh-huh. Well, please pull forward. Great. We'll see what we can come up with. I'll be right back. Oh. This creativity needs you now. Go, go. I'll be writing this poem for my princess splotch. Let's see what rhymes with drip. Flip, chip, hmm. This scribble could be tricky, artist. Here, why don't you take a look and tell me what you think. Hey, a scribble, what can it be? Put on your thinking cap and tell me what you see. about anything you guys are amazing let me see if I can find those shapes okay an A a capital A oh here there it is yeah I see that and the number eight oh that's in about the same place see yeah now the face that's a tricky one. Oh wait there's one eye and here's an eye this is like the top of the head and here's the mouth He's not smiling too much. And a car. Oh, I see the car. Here's a wheel, and here's a wheel. And the hood of the car is imaginary, and then it goes up like this. That's the body of the car. Great, you guys. Which of these shapes should we tell our customer about? Give me a thumbs up if you think we should tell them about the car. Come on, get them up there. I can't see your thumb. Ah, cool. Let's do it. Well, ma'am, we have a suggestion for you. Oh, yoo-hoo! My little friends, how many of my paint marks have you found now? Oh, you must look harder. You're welcome. That's why we call this place the Scribble Shop. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Goodbye. What a neat dice. Huh. Let's see what number I get when I roll it. Oh, a four. What? There's a bag outside my door. Mr. Wiley must have left me another gift. I'll be right back. Mr. Wiley? Ha! 
I'm the one who leaves her the gifts. They're supposed to inspire her to be artistic. What on earth could this be? Do you know what's inside the bag? She's going to want to paint a picture of it. I know she will. What is going on out there? How can I write my poem with all this noise? What on earth could this be? It feels kind of curvy and it's got little lumps on it. And it feels squishy. Huh, what do you guys think it is? Really? Let's see if you're right. A pretzel! How did you guys know that? Huh. Well, Mr. Wiley, this is very original. It looks delicious. Oh, my precious students, don't let her eat that pretzel. She must paint a picture of it. Yum. Mm. What? You don't think I should eat this pretzel? Well, then what would we do with it? Well, it is a cool shape. I love the way it twists. Hey, I know. Let's brainstorm and see what other ideas we can come up with. Brainstorm. Are you ready to burst your brain? Your nose will start to twitch, then your ears will smoke and itch. Things you've never ever thought will crowd the other thoughts you've got. Hold on to your head, it's gonna spin, it's gonna soar. Then just when it stops, you'll start to think some more. Brainstorm! Now remember, you cannot say the wrong thing, so say whatever pops into your mind. Are you ready? Pretzel. Salt. Not. Excited! Those were great brainstorm words. Salt, not, loop, and dip. That's interesting. Dip. What do you guys like to dip your pretzels in? Come on, talk loud. I can't hear you. Mustard? Cheese? A lot of you like cheese. Pickle relish? Really? Who said that? This should get Miss Creativity's toes a tapping. Whoa, where'd that come from? Hey, those look like dancing shoes. Oh, I love to dance. I better warm up. You guys, stretch. Oh. Okay, are you ready to boogie down? Come on, don't just lie there like a potato. Get up on your feet. I'll help you. Come on, I'll pull you. Reach out to me, come on. Oh. That's the way to do it. Now boogie around the room until your jitters are all gone. Come on, shake them out. Go crazy. La, 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 la. Uh, that woman is nuts. Oh, She's crazy. She's go, loony. Go, go, go. <laughs> Whoa, good jitters. I think mine are leaving. <laughs> Wait, now we're ready to do our best dancing. Let's take a good look at the shape of this pretzel. Do you see how the right side of this pretzel goes up and around and then it twists down the middle and then the left side does the same thing? Now look at the bottom of the pretzel. It's kind of curved like a smile. That, my friends, is about to become a dance. Great, okay, I'm just gonna kick my shoes off to get ready. Now, the right side of that pretzel went up and twisted in the middle. So try lifting your right leg up and over your left leg and then twist around. Great. Okay, now let's try the other side. Lift up your left leg over the middle and twist around. Great. Now, that smile part at the bottom of the pretzel, what could we do to kind of make that? I know. Put your feet apart and we'll just kind of go rock it to the side, to the side, to the side. That's a fun move. Okay. And our dip. We'll end this dance with a dip, okay? So jump your feet together and clap and then touch the ground. And that's our dip. Great, that's our dance. I think we should name it the Funky Pretzel. What do you guys think of that name? Give me five if you like it. Oh, ouch. Okay, the Funky Pretzel it is. Now, let's pretend we're getting ready for a huge dance recital. Here we are. Okay, now I'll be the teacher, and you guys, you just copy what I do, okay? Let's give it a whirl. Right leg up and over, twist it around. Left leg up and over, 
twist it around, rock it to the side, to the side, to the side, jump your feet together and touch the ground. Wonderful. Now this time you guys say it with me. Are you ready? Right leg up and over, twist it around. Left leg up and over, twist it around. Rock it to the side, to the side, to the side. Jump your feet together and touch the ground. Great class! I think you're ready to take this to the stage. And now introducing Becky and the Scribble Shop Dancers. Okay! That's us guys, come on. Okay, ready? A five, six, seven, eight. Right leg up and over, twist it around. Left leg up and over, twist it around. Rock it to the side, to the side, to the side. Jump your feet together and touch the ground. Yay, Scribble Shop Dancers, take it off. Soak up all that applause. Woo. Now rock to the side, to the side, to the side. Oh, I feel ridiculous. It's time for me to hide. <sighs> oh, that was so much fun. You guys are great dancers. You have to teach that one to your friends. No one will ever believe it was inspired by a pretzel. <laughs> Is that? Hey, that gives me an idea. Let's draw a mask. That'll be great. Go get some crayons and some markers and come right back. This is going to be really cool. Good, you're back. Let's get started. Okay, now to make our mask, first we're going to have to draw the outline shape of our pretzel here. But we don't know how big to make it to fit our faces. So, I have an idea. Take your hands like this and stretch it out and then lay it across your face, across your cheekbones. Isn't that interesting that your face is about as wide as your hand if you go from your fingertip to your thumb? Well, there you go. That's how wide your mask needs to be. So then you just lay that down on your paper and put a tiny, light, soft little mark from where your thumb is and where that end of your fingertip is. And that's about how wide your mask needs to be. Good. Now let's draw the outline of our pretzel on the paper, but try to stay within those guidelines. Draw very lightly so that if you need to change it, you can. Now let's draw some eye holes. Make these eye holes any shape you want. I think I'll make mine kind of like this. Now go ahead and color them in with your pencil to remind yourself that these are going to be cut out later. Now if you want a hole for your nose, do the same thing. That is a decision that only you, the artist, can make. I think I will make a hole for my nose. Something wacky. Okay, now it's time to do some creative decorating on our mask. If you wanted your mask to look really scary, what would you do? What kind of colors would you use? Dark colors, like black and purple and brown, yeah. And what kind of shapes would you use? Yeah, jagged, angular shapes. I agree. Now if you wanted to look really happy, like a clown mask, then what kind of shapes would you use? Curvy shapes, what kind of colors? Bright colors, right! Well, that's great. Now you need to decide what you want your mask to look like. Do you want it to look happy or do you want it to look scary? Hmm. I think I'll kind of do a combination. Draw a design on your mask with pencil. And remember, make this mask look like you. It doesn't have to look like mine. Draw lightly so that when you color it in later, the pencil lines won't show. Do anything you want. I think I'll put something over here. looking about how I want it. Great! Now let's trace those lines with a black marker or a crayon. <laughs> oh yeah, this is coming to life now. Now let's color it. Just use whatever you have around or you can color it later. Try to stay inside your line so that your design really pops out. Remember to be picky about your colors, too. Make sure they support the style of your mask. You don't want to use happy colors if you're trying to make your mask scary. And another thing sometimes people forget is that you should try to leave some of the shapes white. Sometimes that's really interesting. Perfect. 
Now, later on you can find some scissors and cut along the outline we made. Put a little tape around the edge on both sides and then hole punch a hole through it so you can tie a string to each side and wear it. Now, hold up your mask so I can see. Could you be a master artist? Of course, you're not quite finished yet. Look, you've made a masterpiece. You're still learning, don't forget. It may not look like much to you. Paint, we're at the finishing touch. But you've got talent, yes you do. Trust Splatter, you'll like it very much. You guys made really neat masks. You know, we never did figure out what was so strange in the shop today. I feel like it's really, really obvious, and I just can't see what it is. Huh. Erg! How did she miss those green paint marks? Are you counting, my students? Keep looking now. Oh, how do you like my mask? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what this dough looked like before it was tied into this funny knot. I bet it was long and skinny, kind of like a shoelace. Or a snake. Yuck. And this salt, it kind of reminds me of freckles. Freckles are cute on people, but, but on a snake? Another one? Where do those come from? Hey, I know. Let's write a song about a snake. This is going to be great, you guys. Say hiss if you want to sing a song about a snake. Hiss. Okay, I've written some words here about a snake named Piper. Hmm, what kind of music do you imagine when you think of a snake? How does a snake move? They sort of slide and slither, don't they? Yeah, like that. This song is gonna be slinky. We'll keep it simple at first. Are you ready? A one, two, three. If you were a snake, what shape would you be? Would you coil into a spiral? Something's not quite right here. Piper, silly Piper, how'd you get into that knot? Now you'll have to undo all the loops you slid through. Piper, silly Piper, I'll give you some advice. Hiss, like this, and shed some skin. Now, my snake friend, you can try it again. What a silly snake. Quite right here. Piper, silly Piper, how'd you get into the knot? Now you'll have to undo all the loops you slid through. Piper, silly Piper, I'll give you some advice. Hiss, like this, and shed some skin. Now, my snake friend, you can try it again. Piper, are you still stuck like that? Didn't you listen? Guys, we'll have to tell him again. Piper, silly Piper, I'll give you some advice. Hiss, like this, and shed some skin. Now, my snake friend, you can try it again. Oh, Piper, can you breathe like that? <sighs> Hiss, like this, boom, boom, and oh, hi. Despite all her goofy slithering, I have managed to finish my poem for Splotch. It goes like this. Dearest Splotch, 
When I think of you, my paint begins to drip. My limbs get all soupy and my heart starts to flip. In every smudge you make, there is sunshine in your yellow. Although we are apart, I forever am your fellow. <laughs> well, that's it. Isn't it romantic? I must send it to her at once. Huh. I bet you never dreamed that this pretzel would inspire us to create a dance, make a mask, and write a song about a snake who gets tied up in knots. Poor Piper. I do hope he gets untangled someday. Hey, what's this? It looks like a little letter that never got mailed. But it looks like it's addressed to a yellow blob and it's from a green blob. Huh. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to throw it in the mail. Oh, she did it! She did it! She mailed my poem! Splotch will be so excited! Oh, another customer! Thanks so much for your help today. And remember, value every idea that you have, because you never know where it might lead you. Scribble Shop, this is Becky speaking. How can I help you? So, my little friends, how many paint marks did you find in the shop today? There were six. I'll show you. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Voila! Goodbye, my students. If you were a snake, what shape would you be? Would you coil into a spiral or zig and zag into a Z? Maybe you'd arch or loop like a ball.